Hello, Gemini, and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your July Astro Tarot reading. Now, these are general tarot readings, so please only go with the messages that resonate with you. I'm going to get your oracle cards up first. This will be the past. This will be the present. And the future. And the best possible outcome. Okay, let's get your tarot laid down. I'm using the Moon Garden Tarot for this reading. Okay, we start off with the Six of Staffs. This is nice. That's victory. Ace of Swords. Eight of Staffs or Wands. Then we have the Death card, which represents transformation, change going from one phase to another something coming to an end. Then we have the King of Swords, Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups, Page of Swords, Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles and Two of Wands. Okay, let's look at what we have here for you, Gemini. Okay, we have Angel of Communication. That's really nice because, Gemini, you represent the third house, and that is communication. You're ruled by the planet Mercury. Uh, so communicate clearly. Don't be afraid to tell it like it is. Then we have Angel of Self-Worth. You are currently undervaluing yourself. It is time to regain your self-worth. Okay, some of you might be asking for a raise here in your work. Or just being recognized for your value for your input, for your contribution. Let's look at your tarot cards. We do have victory here. We have the Ace of Swords and Eight of Staffs. I feel like that you're going to present your case eloquently. And there could also be more opportunities coming your way with the Eight of Staffs. Because we do have a victory here with the Six of Staffs, overcoming any kind of dilemmas or obstacles. And the Ace of Swords is very focused on what you are doing. And you are, there's a lot of energy moving, communicating, ideas. Okay, next we have the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. The second chakra is the sacral chakra of creativity. And we have, that's with 36. And then we have number seven with community. That's really nice because here I feel like you're creating a community, a support system. Or perhaps you are participating in your community and creating a group of people that are going to be focused on doing something within the community. So let's take a look at your tarot. There is an ending and a new beginning with this death card. And I feel like that there's a new creation, a new creative energy. And the King of Swords is ruled by Libra, and that's about partnerships. 
And here we have the Queen of Staffs, which is ruled by Leo. And I feel like that there's new partnerships, relationships, and there could also be endings with uh, air signs and fire signs. But I really feel more like there's a new creative energy here, something that's needed, something that's transformed because uh, it is needed in the community. And then we go on to holding your vision with the fixed moon and the new moon in Leo. Confidence is your key to success. So you are meant to be successful by holding on to your vision. And Leo happens to be a fixed fire sign, which is, and it rules the fifth house of creativity. So hold your vision. You're trying to create something new, I feel, and introducing it into the community. And for that, you need to be able to communicate that clearly and show that this is a project that is worthy of the energy put into it. Okay, let's look at the tarot cards that go with uh, the confidence is the key to your success and holding your vision. We have the Ace of Cups, Page of Swords, and Two of Swords. The Ace of Cups is a renewal. It's healing. And it is spiritual. We have the Dove dropping the sacrament into the chalice. The Page of Swords, which is ruled by Gemini, your sign, this denotes a new beginning. Communicating, being able to be mutable, flexible in the way that you communicate. Even though at times, for example, if you're doing public speaking and it makes you nervous, you don't want to go out there. This is the kind of indecisiveness, the dilemma, one of the aspects. And there's, but you still go out there, you face it, and you do very well. You say, you communicate what needs to be communicated. And there is some indecisiveness. The Two of Swords represents a crossroads. And so I feel like that you're crossing the road here. You're trying to make something better. And you need to hold that vision in order to manifest that into your community. And you are going to gain favor with your community. Because here we have confidence with number 32 and 41 with imagination holding on to that vision, that second chakra of the sacral chakra of creativity, your imagination. So we have confidence by earth and air, water and fire. Let my confidence take light, burn higher. And imagination with 41. Imagination now sets me free. Divine ones, I send my thanks to thee. Okay, having gratitude, knowing that it takes teamwork to bring this into the community. Okay, let's look at your tarot cards here. We have the two of pentacles, seven of pentacles, and two of staffs. Okay, we have three twos here. Two of swords, you're at the crossroads. Two of pentacles, you're juggling finances. Two of staffs, you're wondering where to go next. And in between juggling your finances, and this includes your time. Remember, we have self-value here. Know your value. Don't stretch yourself too thin. Because with the Seven of Pentacles, there is a right time and place. 
and you're going to know that because you're being very thoughtful about what your next move is going to be. You're being very strategic. And yes, that does take imagination and it takes confidence, especially when any of you are doing any kind of public speaking, whether it's a podcast or your YouTube channel or I'm getting the church for some reason uh, because there is a community in churches and spiritual groups. And perhaps you're creating a new spiritual community or a support group for something that was helpful for you. And you see that there's a great need for that in the community. Okay, and let's get some clarifiers on your cards. I'm using the Everyday Witch cards for the clarifiers. Okay, we start off with the Ten of Cups on the Six of Wands. That's beautiful. That's a blissful victory right there. Okay, next we have the Ace of Cups on the Ace of Swords. You're speaking from your heart. You're speaking your truth. And then we have the Ace of Swords again. And this time it's with the Eight of Staffs. And this is very focused direction of your energy and your ideas. On the death card, we have the Six of Wands. This is a card of victory because we have the Six of Wands over here. There's a victory, and this could be a project that was scrapped that you thought was dead, but you were able to revive it and bring it to the attention to the community and get the support of the community. On the King of Swords, we have the Knight of Wands, being at the right place at the right time where you're connecting and networking with someone. Somebody that helps you. Okay, we have Temperance on the Queen of Staffs. Now this I see as a self-transformation which could also be part of that death card with that six of wands, meaning you are evolving and how you're going to be projecting yourself. Uh, the queen of wands, all the world is a stage for her. And she decides when she enters into the scene or if she's going to be in the background. And here with the temperance card, yes, there is patience with that because it's about the timing which we have here with the Knight of Wands. Okay, on the Ace of Cups, we have the Devil card. Interesting. I feel like that something negative has been avoided. Take that, how that resonates. There could be a, some kind of scam and you were able to avoid it. Okay, because you felt that it wasn't right. And it's very important that you stay in tune with your intuition as I reveal the Queen of Cups, who is all about intuition, very sensitive, feeling the vibes of everything around her. And that's on your card here with the Page of Pentacle or the Page of Swords. So you're going to know if somebody's watching you. If you feel like somebody's watching you, because we do have that devil card, there, and it could bring out some of the darker aspects of this page, which is more like a spy, so somebody's watching you, you're going to sense that. You're going to feel that. And that could be why you're feeling that Two of Swords. But here we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, something deep within you has been triggered, some darker fear. And this could be a little bit of paranoia. Uh, it could also be 
uh, just being hyper vigilant. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands, which is about carrying a heavy burden on the Two of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like some of you may have more expenses than you have the funds for. So be careful. Uh, here we have the Nine of Swords on the Seven of Pentacles. So there, it, it seems like that there's some lack-minded scarcity kind of feelings here or just anxiety of having overspending issues. So uh, you may want to check your budget. I'm not giving financial advice that take it how it resonates, but this is about budgeting your resources. However, you see that, and that can also be your time as well. And then we have the Two of Cups on top of the Two of Staffs. Okay, the Two of Cups is about relationships, and the Two of Staffs is, I feel like that you have, this person is in your world, they're part of your world. And... Uh, do we have with that we have the ace of wands i feel like that there's a renewal here between the two of you so let's get you some dream cards Sweet dream cards for Gemini. We have energy. I work in my dreams and my spirit energy to reach my highest good. Okay, I think that... Okay, then we have fearlessness. I pay close attention to my heart and mind. I do not allow fear to distract me. Because you do have some cards here that show some anxiety and stress. And it's saying, ask for help. I am willing to receive help from the universe whenever and however it happens. Okay, so all you got to do is ask, state your case, and the universe has your back. And we're going to find out from the deck itself how the universe has your back gemini i am the loving energy of the universe that's part of that community the moment i realign with the love clear direction is presented to me that's the answer to all of these twos that you've gotten because you've gotten one or two of them from each suit so there's a lot of indecision so when i'm in alignment with the love of the universe peace cannot be disrupted okay we have cards here about alignment the moment i realign when i'm in alignment with love, with love, with the love of the universe, clear direction, peace cannot be disrupted. So I feel like that there's some disruption in your life, in your mind, in your emotional body. Uh, we do have a lot of swords, so I feel like there's a lot of uh, mental stress which can most certainly be work-related for you. Take it how it resonates, as this is a general reading. But you are going to move through this, and it's actually helping to transform and evolve you and crack open your imagination where you're going, it's actually going to build your confidence because you're going to have a beautiful flow 
of ideas and inspiration here with the Ace of Wands. And you do have support here. There is renewal here. And this, I feel like, is the universe when you're in alignment with that love. Because the Two of Cups can also represent self-love as well. Okay, I'm going to end your reading here, Gemini. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I'm sending you lots of Reiki rays of love and light. Until next time, take care.